be nice to get this section of the wall first coat rendered so know that that's nice and secure and tight. But before I do that, there's a repair here that I've got to do. For some reason, there's just a loose stone in there. I've not really looked at this before. Okay. Okay. Works on an unusually deep shaft there. Ain't just that falling out. How deep does that go? Know why that would be that deep and open? It ain't like the rubble has sort of just fallen down from above. It's there's no sign of anything holding the rocks together. It's a purpose-built shaft. I do plan to block it back up, but that would be a perfect place to put a little time capsule. Maybe I've got those coins that I found upstairs. Yeah, we could seal that off. For future generations. I wonder how long that would be before they found that. Yeah, so we're going in probably, okay, that deep. So yeah, I'll clear this out, prepare the stone to go in the entrance bit. We'll get a container, but later on we'll put some stuff in that. Yeah, let us know in the comments. What do you think should go in it? Comments? Things of the past or the present? Let me know. Give me some ideas, please. In the meantime, I'm going to try and work out why there is a deep shaft there. Have a look at the rest of the walls to see any more clues. So this is the proximity of the hole there. Sometimes they had like a fresh air shaft to feed the fire down below. Maybe that, when we're talking half, just over half the depth of that stick. So, hmm. so anyway, I'll leave that open for now. Can always put a stone back in there, find one that fits there. We'll get the rest of this section rendered off. Who knows what's coming out of this hole? Uh, walnuts. <laughs> Plenty of walnut shells. Don't want to prod too much in case I disturb any block work in the back. Okay. And this is the other area that I need to address. It's that timber there. It's rotted away, so we'll get that out of it. We'll find some stone to go in the back here to pick up with the stonework underneath. No one shout timber. Oh, oh that's not putting up any fight at all. Phew. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to poke about too much because there's some stone sitting there. Yeah, that'll give me just enough to to block up. going to collapse. There you can see the stone sitting above that timber. Don't want to disturb that anymore. We'll get some stones blocked up underneath that to support it and that'll be perfect. stones. Yeah, I better get this done pretty quick. Never a dull moment is there with these restorations. So lots of repairs before you can actually start getting stuck into the adding to the to the property to the building but still very necessary you know. No good scrimping over these areas you know just to make it look good because it won't last. Right now I've got to find some stone, some suitable stone to go in there. May be a challenge. 
I've used quite a lot of stone lately and uh, yeah, my stock is running pretty low. Uh, what else can I put in there? No, I think it's got to be stone, I better go look. Back soon. Very important to make sure the stones are nice and clean. Look at my wire brush as well. Oh, that water's nice and cold. use a double layer inside because I've got to pick up quite a big area to there so I think that's the best way forward. Give me more flexibility with my stone as well so make it nice and strong, bond it all together. Okay. Don't look too bad actually. It's only gonna be a shallow recess, I'd rather strengthen this area up. You know, it's just a feature. Yeah, it is putting up a challenge. Um, of course, once you put the mortar on there, the dimensions of the stones change. I wasn't happy with it, so I found another few pieces. Now, they don't go right to the back, so as I'm building up, I'm having to pack it out of the back, which is good. I've just got to make sure this fits now. Just, just line through there. See if I can knock off a bit of stone off of here. That corner there. Okay, some micro adjustments. some slate in there, pack it in and then the gap at the front I'll chip some bigger stones up and just face it off. Now for some slate, should have plenty, we've all blown off the roof. Now the reason we use slate is because it doesn't crush, although you can snap it, the sort of downward pressure it will never crush slate so that's why you always see slate in joints on uh, big oak beams and limb tools and things, they use that to to pack out, so that's what we're going to do here. Yep, quite a few have come off the roof recently. We'll be dealing with that soon. So yeah, it's just literally a case of pushing it right to the back. Yeah. And that way it's forcing up the mortar. Every time I push something in, the mortar goes up. Put a little bit on top as well. Yeah, it seems to work. Anyway, I can really get it in there. Does collapse, ain't got far to go, is it? And a sort of couple of mil, but it won't collapse. Don't know what Sam's cooking, but it smells delicious. Keep getting most of it, so yeah, I'll let you know what she's doing.
Yeah, we'll just get that pointed up. Okay, while that's hardening up, let's go inside. See what them cats have been up to. Seems like blowing a storm outside as well as indoors. Oh, that's where my cup went. <laughs> Leave that there. Might get a refill. Come on, naughty cats, where have you been? There's one. Hmm. Ah, there's Jess. Okay, where's the ringleader? No, that's Mummy Cat, that's Fifi. Where's the naughty pixie gone? Pixie! I'm not stroking quick enough. Where is he, naughty boy? There he is. Where have you been? You look like you've been asleep. Hmm? So before Sam left, she came and see me and said, the cats have been very naughty, they've knocked me sewing box off, washing powder everywhere, so... <laughs> yeah. Mm, you've been naughty, haven't you? Can't be angry with them, though. Just mischievous. <laughs> Sorry, am I not stroking you quick enough? They all get jealous of each other. <laughs> We've got one pair of hands. Okay, all right. Let's go and have me lunch. Mm, I think that's done now. Now this is what I could smell. Sam has made me, made us all. Delicious pumpkin and sweet potato soup. Now I've had some already and it's absolutely delicious. Now Sam did mention to me that she's going to put the recipe of how she made this on the blog. So check out the blog, welcome to Seansworld.com. There's a free blog on there. Sam is doing some special edition blogs on there, so be sure to check them out, they're brilliant. with some creme fraiche. No diet today. Delicious. Don't forget for this recipe check out the blog. Welcome to Seansworld.com Oh it's horrible today out here. <laughs> Jolly cold as well as windy. You can hear quite a few roofing sheets flapping about, tin ones. Let's take a closer look and see whether it's starting to go off a bit. Yeah, let's strike it in a little bit more. Now we just take a brush just before it starts to go too hard and just work it into the joint. We'll clean up afterwards with the wire brush once it's all nice and dry, get it off the face of the stone. taking shape now, I think you'll agree. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. It is only the first coat, so, you know, we'll iron it out a little bit once it starts going off, because there's some deep sort of um, voids and that where the pointing is. I'm having to kind of strike it in there as well, so, yeah, this just really binds it all together and gives a good base for going over. But yeah, I'm well pleased with that. Okay, let's just get that other. I'm a bit done, got some more mix in the 
in the wheelbarrow if it ain't been washed away by the wind and the rain. And in this area there's some nicer bigger stones so I'm going to dig out around there. I'm going to leave that one exposed and see what the rest of them are like around that area. Yeah, give it a bit of character, that's for sure. stones to highlight, pointing around them then the rest will be rendered. So it's a mixture of nice stones and some smaller sort of infill stones so I want to pick up those you know nice feature stones and uh, yeah a little nod to its history and its construction. Don't forget Sam's done a fantastic vlog, sort of a backstory of you know, part of their history here and the wildlife and you know, everything around us really so yeah she's a very creative writer. So pop on over to my website wormsshawnworld.com and yeah have a good read don't forget to subscribe like leave us a comment watch the ads if you really can i'll stick the cattle on all the ads are going all helps and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye for now